Hi everyone, welcome back to another cut above with Chris. Going for my face shave, I've just knocked out literally like a 12 minute head shave. It was a beautiful, really comfortable head shave and I did use face fat from Western Australia. Lavender scent and it was super, really was protective, cushiony and slick. I'm going to be moving on to now another Canadian artisan, Midnight and Two. The scent on this one is a study, straight off the tub, vetiver. That's all I get. I don't get anything else from it straight off the tub. I believe there's a little bit more in there's some lavender and there's some floral and things. So we'll see how it goes as it lathers up. Now, Midnight and Tour, another Canadian company. They're highly regarded. Excellent, excellent products. And I'm looking forward to it. And it was part of a trade that I did along with, I believe it was Caesar de Franco. So I'm going to be using my West Coast shaving silver tip, 24mm silver tip. One of my favourite natural hair brushes. The knot itself, I'm not sure who actually produces the knot, but I'm pretty sure it'll more likely be Yaki or someone like that, because that's where the biggest majority of these knots come from. Now there's also sandalwood in this scent, and you guys know sandalwood is definitely not a scent that I regard anywhere near my top 1 million scents. It's just a scent that does nothing for me. It's, it's nicer as a filler scent, as like sort of secondary in the background. It does add to scents, I've got to say. And it does make other things smell better. And it does give them a sort of warmth and a sweetness and a roundness. But on its own, it's horrible. So I've got it in here as part of this whole scent. So hopefully, it's just a, a scent that's just carrying through in the background. Right, brush is loaded. This is quite a thick load. Wet the face. And I'm going to scoop out all the excess because there's quite a bit in here. It's a reasonably firm soap. It's not super hard, but it's not soft by any means. Yeah, it's, it's firm. For some reason, I'm getting a sort of peanutty sort of sense. It smells a bit like peanuts. Peanut and butter sort of idea. Not full on peanut butter, but I'm getting that sort of scent with the blend that's in here. It does have a sort of... It even tastes peanutty. It's definitely got a peanutty sort of thing going on. Hmm. I feel like I was getting a reaction here. some water in. Now the 24mm West Coast Shaving Silver Tip is a, it's one of those brushes that for me feels like a synthetic even though it's not and it also creates a lather like a synthetic. It's a really nice knot and if you get one and it's anywhere near as good as the knot I've got in mind you'd be able to win it for the price. They're about 50 to 60 dollars in America from West Coast Shaving. Uh, they are in the psychedelic range, that's what it's called. Natural range of brushes, given the tie-dye pink that I've got here. This was very kindly sent over from West Coast Shaving. And most things I get, I give away or trade or piff, you know, and this one has stayed in the den. Sometimes I get something that's just so good that I, I want to keep it in the den, you know. And sometimes, with, especially with knots, you can get 50 knots all from the same manufacturer and you've got to wait until 51 to get the knot that's brilliant. Lovely face feel, lovely soft tips. Now this is a silver tip, but what's actually happening with this knot is the tips, some of the tips are splitting. I have had a good look at them really close up. They are splitting and it is starting to gel, which is quite unusual for a silver tip brush because the tips are so fine already. But it's still got a shit ton of scrub. Not enough that it's uncomfortable, but there's loads of scrub. But you'll see in a minute just how well it whips up a lather 
and why I compare it to synthetics. That's an incredible ladder. Quick and easy to make. The brush is caked. I don't find this knot ever eats ladder. The ladder always, it's quite a nice tasting soap, I'm honest. It's not a horrible tasting soap to see what's in it. The carve, Christopher Bradley razor, it's starting to patina nicely. The brass is starting to really sort of change colour from a bright gold and it's just slowly changing every shave. Every time I pull it out, it seems to get slightly darker, not quickly obviously highlighting how high quality the metal is and I've got a brand spanking new Persona Med Prep blade in here which I haven't used in this razor before so here we go with the Med Prep Now one thing I like about the Med Prep blades are they're completely uncoated I do find sometimes when I use a coated blade, I end up with little sort of spots, little white spots. And I think it's a reaction to the, the coating. I've caught, caught about 10 minutes of Kyle's latest shave, Kyle over at Kyle, <sighs> Leroy over at No Meal Shaves, he was talking about Kyle at the time when I turned it off, that's why I've, or Carl, I'm sure it was Kyle he was talking about. I'll tell you what, that man, compared to what I used to shave with the Chevette when it first started, when I watched his very first Kai Chevette shave with his Camasori, CJB Camasori, I think it was, many months ago now, to where he's got now with his, with his ability with the Chevette, it's quite incredible. He just looks so comfortable and at home with it now. I sort of wish I had his patience. I had a lot of the guys' patience in this hobby to give the Chevettes a real goal, but they just don't. They just don't excite me at all. Well, first pass down, really nice. The scent for me is it's not my sort of scent, I've got to be honest. I, I can't recommend this scent to anyone that's into any of the scents that I'm into, all your sort of gourmands and things. It smells like peanuts and peas. It's a, you know, it's called the study, so I'm assuming it's supposed to smell a bit like a library or something where it's like a little bit sort of dank and dark and mysterious. But it's just not the sort of scent you get from Barrister Man for that just blow this away but I will say that the lather is beautiful the lather is really easy it loads really easy the tub for me looks great I like the labels it's very plain and clean I mean this is an amazing lather now there are floral scents in here but I'm not getting them I'm just getting literally vetiver and a peanutty sort of scent and that's about it and it tastes peanutty and, and sort of vetivery like peas, it tastes like peas a little bit and it smells a bit like that so that's not really appealing to me but the quality of the soap is unquestionable, it's excellent soap very very slick, very protective it's super easy to work with So the soap itself I 
can definitely recommend, even now. Now I haven't had a look at the ingredients yet to see just how good it is, so I'll have a quick squeeze at that near the end. performing really well. The Persona Med Prep, beautiful again, really smooth. Really, really smooth. It feels excellent. I have not put a blade in this razor yet, it does not work. Everything seems to work in it. And they all give excellent results. Really, really slick protective soap. It really is nice stuff. The residual slickness is built up now. It's excellent. It's just the scent. It's only the scent that does not sell the soap for me. That's something I would go out and buy. Everything else, in my opinion, to do with the soap is excellent. Right, now I didn't know what to go with for this aftershave to go with this because there's nothing really that I've got that smells like it. I thought about Marlowe Wood from Moyle, but I went with Heliop Terrace, which is Sun Fern, Frosted. It's a bit of menthol in here. One, two, three, three splashes. Right, here we go. Now this is Moyle's Fuji, and let me tell you, in terms of Fuji, it is absolutely incredible. The scent, it's a bit of citrus through, beautiful sort of floral and green, and, uh, and it's even I like it. I think it's beautiful. My wife loves it, which is surprising. It smells brilliant. A couple of little weepers, but other than that, stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive, and if you can grab some midnight and two, go for it. See you there.